All right, y'all. In the classic plastic bag, it's time for a taste of jam rock. We doing it. Shout out Shaz. We'll talk about it. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, let's crack into this and see what we're working with. It smells delicious. Thus far, it's smelling the aromas are very, very nice. This plastic bag is probably ruckus in this microphone. Yes, yes, you will see that. He had to go with a patty. The patty wasn't requested, but I can't go get Jamaican food without getting a patty. I don't know that it's homemade, though. It might just be straight out the box, you know what I mean? One of those bulk buy patties. I do believe it is, but whatever. Those are a mainstay delicious item, but I gotta get a beef patty. A little coleslaw here. Looks like a nice little creamy coleslaw. The dude and his wife in there were chill and cool, but they're kind of in a rough part of town, to be honest with you. And uh, you could tell that it, I think it's hurting their business quite a bit, which I felt bad, it like it sucks, but oh well. Anyways, what was I challenged to get? Something I actually have never eaten, but always wanted to try. And it always looks so stewed and delicious and tender. And that, my friends, is oxtail. Okay. We're trying the oxtail and the peas and rice. And we're getting a thumbnail. All right. Well, first things first, this is subscriber sponsored. Shout out to Shaz. I'm just saying Shaz because her name is spelled S H A Z or Z I E. So Shazzy or Shazy. I don't know what's the right pronunciation. So I'm just saying. Shaz, but she was saying oxtail. But anyways, uh, we have two official Jamaican places in my city. The other one was way up on the other side of town. It looks better, that one, uh, on the internet. Like, just its, its whole presence looks better. But uh, I went with this one because it's closer to me. And they're about the same price. A plate like this was uh 18 bucks with the patty 21 for everything and uh you know oxtail it's kind of like a more delicacy treat of a meat but i've never tried a piece of oxtail i know it's like stewy beef but i always see people eating it, it always looks good holy shit butter that is butter you don't even have to try. It's certainly got quite a bit of fat on it. Not my favorite part to indulge in, but as per the meat itself, oh man. Watch this. Yeah, that's delicious. That's like the best even the fat part of it's pretty good. That is like the best melt in my mouth roast. Piece of roast beef that I have ever had. Holy crap. I've been sleeping on this. Yeah, I mean, I hope their restaurant does well. It's just, it's, it used to be a bowling alley. And it turned into a, a bar in a pretty rough little area. Like when I got out of my vehicle, I parked along the side and there were people, a guy and a woman by like a BFI bin, basically I think like shooting up. So sad, but it is what it is, but I'm sure, I'm sure it doesn't really promote A lot of patronage having that be 
right outside your business. But the food, wow, this is amazing. I've been sleeping on oxtail. I've watched other mucks, mukbangs, where people eat it. And I, it always makes me crave it because, like, I love nibbling wings down to the last and all that type of stuff. And that's kind of like what that is. Like, you just kind of eat it off that bone. But this that sauce, the. It's like a jerk sauce, I guess, right? It's got spice to it for sure. It's a little much. Well, we'll see. It's burning. It's a good burn though. But it is burning my palate a little bit here. But not too, too crazy. Mmm. Yeah, these, well, I can't compare it to the other one, but these people are doing it completely right. Absolutely delicious. I'm trying to decipher what these flavors are. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what the spices are, but I'll tell you what. They are lighting me up. Not in a bad way, though. In like a nice way. But I always got to try the coleslaw from everywhere. And while we have like a, a very spicy palate. Should always cleanse with the coleslaw bite. Mmm, really good. Really, really good. Kind of like a Popeye's. Which is my favorite coleslaw. I could go for another. Like four of those. Really good. Alright. This place is hitting. My only thing is this. Is I know for fact from living in Toronto. As someone who used to take the TTC. All the time. Patties were a mainstay. Easy, cheap, on the go fix. Always caught patties, generally in between trains or just before the train. But I used to have to like exchange, like you go south and switch to the east west line. And there's always shops with. Dollar patties. Such a cheap, perfect snack on the way to work on your travels. So I am familiar with this right here. Many hangovers with patties. Now, is this blasphemy? I hope it probably is. But this is my inner white boy coming out. <laughs> I love ketchup on fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. If that ruins things. But I love ketchup. But patty dough. So good. It's that buttery, flaky deliciousness. I used to work with a chef who made them from scratch. Stupid good. I might have to try the other spot uptown now to see who actually wins the battle.
the reviews online are pretty close. But this one is a little less less highly rated. Also, I screwed up. I meant to get a ting. Or like a pineapple island soda. Totally sk uh, slipped my mind though. For those who don't know what a ting is, that's like a seven up, I, I would say, kind of. Like a lemon lime refreshing soda called ting. It was actually in my first first year living in Toronto when I went to music school. I had no shit about shit about shit when it came to like culture and stuff. Being from my white mayo ass town. And uh, the two guys in school, well, the one guy in school that I made music with, just a white dude, but he grew up down there so he went to school with all types of people and he was you know he used to bun ting so burn things like smoke weed him and his buddy jeff who i met and jeff always used to do also a white guy that's when i first learned about patois because they went to school with drake not that drake but drake talks like toronto man's patois because there's such a heavy influence of it down those ways, like in Mississauga and stuff, Scarborough and whatnot. There's there's enough Jamaicans, <laughs> but then they twisted like the city boys, like twisted into like Chirano slang, like still and shit, like that, <laughs> like still and whatnot. And they took Patois and they bastardized it and made it like this Toronto slang. Toronto man's. Yo, are you reaching scars? Are you reaching your ex still, still tonight or what? <laughs> Embarrassing. You'll reach. Man, that's so funny. It was such an such an impactful like initial thing that I learned when I first moved there. Learning just my buddy Jeff would just he loved throwing on Jamaican accent, but he was good at it. We're trying to do his patois. funny it was infectious though lots of that city you catch a lot of rappers a lot of mans in the music space putting on their uh on their fake ass bad boy you see me you see me I never really did. <laughs> this is just me explaining how I used to do it down, but I never really flexed that because I just wasn't from there and I didn't grow up around it. These people all grew up around it and integrated it. I will say that when I first moved there, with my northern Canadian accent, I go out to the bar at night and people would be like, You are not from here, are you? 
I'd be like, oh no, Thunder Bay. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. <laughs> so Canadian <laughs> at the time. I learned how to tone down my northern accent over time, but in the beginning, that's just what it was, is all fucking right. It's like, let's get fucking right riffed up tonight, boys. Like, oh yeah, get some fuck, get a pack of fucking bellies, get a pack of smokes and just get right fucked, eh? Like, just so, so Canuck, so hockey. <laughs> it's funny too because it always comes out harder harder that's a Canadian thing that the hard AR like car car and harder going to the bar that's very new though that's very out, out east <clears throat> but the uh, the, mo the, the the drunker one gets the more their northern twang starts to reveal itself. So usually when I, sometimes when I get drunk, even to this day, well, not lately, not in the last long while, but when I used to get really drunk, it would just slowly, slowly leak out <laughs> my, my embedded heritage <laughs> twang. I'm sure it still would to this day. If I was to get liquor, but anywho, anyhow, this was a delicious plate. Pretty much all gone. I loved it. I've never had a piece of beef that tender in my life, to be honest. And they hit it out of the park. It was great. Well, obviously the patty is like a a standardized box patty, I believe. But uh, this mainstay plate here, awesome. So big shout out to Shaz and uh, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.